Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day. It is Wednesday, the 7th of February, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's start by looking at the headlines for today, of course. We saw US equities up overnight as that recent rally we've seen resumed. On continued good earnings. More earnings to come, of course. Big sessions tonight and tomorrow in terms of the number of companies reporting. And we are seeing the U.S. futures moving into positive territory. We did start the day a little flat, but uh, all appear to be moving slowly but surely to the upside. And Asian markets are following that U.S. lead and generally higher. The ASX is up around about 0.8% towards the highs of the session. And we've seen a bounce in material stocks after a very soft start to the week. European futures are also pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. And part of the reason equities are strong is we saw the USD pull back a little bit from November levels. Uh, that was good for commodities. We saw gold hold the important 2030, copper snapping a fourth day losing streak, uh, which is up again in Asia and all recovered much of last week's losses at this stage. Some buying again in Asia so far today in all of these. Bitcoin, however, hasn't moved very much, continues to trade mid-range. And earnings will continue to dominate sentiment this week with very little economic data of significance. German industrial production, Swiss jobs and US trade balance are all due later. We have got three of the Fed members speaking tonight at various points across the US session. That may be listened to because, of course, markets have been a bit jittery since the weekend when Jerome Powell suggested that there would be awareness about cutting rates going forward so we may well see a market response to that but i think earnings are probably going to predominate today a couple of charts that caught our eye and our chart of the day yesterday was uh, zipcore limited you can see we've had a continuation of that move through the 77 level after a pause between 66 and 77 uh, we see this potentially moving up to a dollar which even now despite this strong move up would be a very healthy 10% plus on where we are trading today. So the buyers are in undoubtedly, and uh, we could see this going not only to a dollar, but potentially in the medium term higher than that. So worth checking in with this, not only today, but also through the course of next week. We're keeping an eye on the Euro USD hourly chart. You can see that weakness in the USD or strength in the Euro during the course of the Asian session. We're trading within a range from around about this 107.30 level that we tested a few times yesterday and the day before and looking to tackle 107.70. A breach through that, we could see easily up to 108 and potentially if we get some momentum behind that, up to 108.50 over the course of the next 24 hours. Unless, of course, those Fed member speeches scupper that as a potential move. So worthwhile being vigilant if you are. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.